Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to check out the new battery video doorbell from Eufy. A lot of you have agreed for me to check this out early because I do have a line of products that I need to review that were kind of been first in line. Anyways, I'm interested to also check this out. So we will do the unboxing, check out its features and set it up and do the installation. We will then check out the video and the audio quality and run a battery of tests and see if this battery powered video doorbell is a good fit for your needs. Also guys, I did a review the Eufy's wired video doorbell a while back which I have some issues and Eufy has already fixed most of it. Stay tuned because I'll tell you what it is later on and this battery doorbell has this issue too. I haven't had a chance to do an update video on Eufy's wired video doorbell but I'll be doing a comparison video with this new battery powered one which I might actually do after this video. We will see. But I'll link that review video down below. Let's check out its features. So this is a battery powered video doorbell that records up to 2K in resolution. It has 180 days battery life, free and secure local storage, which it uses Eufy's home base to store recorded footage and also will act as the indoor chime. It works with Google Assistant and Amazon Echo devices. It records in 2K resolution, 2560 by 1920 pixels and at 15 frames per second. It has WDR or wide dynamic range which is the same as HDR where it balances bright and dark areas of the image so that you will get a better view. It has a 4x3 aspect ratio which you will see more vertically as compared to the traditional 16x9 image. So this is the middle ground because some companies have been also using 1x1 one one aspect ratio like the new Arlo video doorbell. Because this is battery powered by design, it uses PIR motion detection but it also has AI human body detection which make it less likely to have false motion alerts. And not only that, you can also specify and customize the area you are monitoring using the activity zone. This doorbell doesn't upload the motion activated footage to the cloud. It uses the home base which is inside your house and has a built in 16GB eMMC for storage. There is no monthly or subscription fees. So if somebody steals or destroys your doorbell, you will still have the footage. This doorbell supports both hardware or battery power options. You can wire this to your existing doorbell wires so as to charge and top off the battery or use it without wire so that you will have more flexibility in the installation. Please note that even if you wire this doorbell, this will still not have the 3 second pre-recording feature like the wired doorbell. It will only start recording when it detects motion. During my testing, it records pretty quick but this is on the highest sensitivity and aggressive zoning but with human detection only and I haven't had any false notifications yet. This doorbell integrates with both Google Assistant and Amazon Alex A and can use the Echo Dot for doorbell push alerts. The built-in 16GB memory can record up to 160 days if the doorbell records less than 10 minutes per day. So it will depend on your use. When memory is filled up, it will record over old footage. Time to open up the box. We have some paperwork. We have a mounting template, window sticker, a quick start guide and we have the home base. This is the home base 2 which is the same home base that comes with the Eufy Cam 2 and 2C. So Eufy needs to start selling this doorbell soon just by itself as an add-on if you already have the home base. At the back we have the speaker, the power supply port, USB port, ethernet port, sync and alarm off button and a reset hole switch. At the bottom we also have another speaker holes. Then we have the video doorbell itself. Build quality is pretty good. We have the PIR motion detector, camera lens, light sensor and infrared LEDs in the front. And the doorbell button sounds like this. At the back we have the two screws to connect this to your existing doorbell wires. This is optional. Then we have the sync button and a rubber flap that covers the micro USB port to charge the batteries. What else is inside the box? We have the ethernet cable, the power adapter for the home base, mounting screws and plastic anchors, extension wires and wire connectors, a micro USB cable to charge the doorbell, and the push tool to remove the doorbell from the mount. And we have the mounting bracket and a 15 degree wedge. For size comparison, this is the wired version compared to the battery one. Comment down below guys if you want me to compare these two. Both of them looks the same. The battery one is just bigger because it needs to house the batteries. Build quality on both of these video doorbells are pretty good. Time to set it up. 
Now I'll be adding this doorbell to my existing Eufy Cam 2 and 2C system. So the next footage will be when I first set up the home base. You need to plug in the home base to your router initially to set it up. So use the included Ethernet cable. Plug in the power, download, sign up, and open up the app. Click Add Device. Click Home Base 2. Ethernet and power is connected, click Next. Connect your phone to the same Wi-Fi as your router and click Next. Wait for the home base's status light to turn blue. Click Next. Scan the QR code in the bottom. Push the sync button and wait until the home base is connected. Name your home base. I now change this to home base 2. Now you can actually change the connection of the home base after this initial setup. Go to the home base setting, click connection, and you can configure Wi-Fi and use Wi-Fi to connect to the home base. You can then unplug it from the router and place the home base in between your router and your cameras, and you'll be able to extend the range of your cameras. Time to add and set up the video doorbell. I also topped off the battery by charging it overnight. Go back to the app and choose Add Device. Make sure you and the doorbell are close to the home base. Click Battery Doorbell. Select which home base you want to connect to. Choose Home Base 2. Click the sync button until you hear a beep. Click Next. Wait until the doorbell is added successfully. You can then follow the type of installation that you are going to do. In my case, I will not connect this to my doorbell wires. Let's check out the live view. Yep, it works. Time to do the installation. Depending on your setup, you might need to install the 15 degree wedge, which in my case, I don't need it. So I'll be screwing the mounting bracket to the wall. Slide the video doorbell in and push to secure it in place. You can use the included push pin to remove the doorbell by inserting it on the hole at the bottom and pushing in to pop off the doorbell. Time to check out the settings. So on the main app page, you will see all your UFI cameras. You will see the last live view snapshot of the battery doorbell. Click the upper right gear icon to get into the settings. This is where you can change the doorbell's name, toggle the camera on or off, home base as a chime, watermark, and LED light on or off. We have the motion detection where you can turn it on, activity zones where you can set the activity zone, just one customizable zone, which you can change the size and shape. Then we have the detection type, human only or all motions, and the sensitivity from low to high. Going back, we have the video quality. We have the streaming quality and video encoding format options, which is set to high. We have quick response, where you can add a custom response. I'll type in no solicitation and push and hold the red button to record. No solicitation. You can play it to check. No solicitation. We have night vision, on or off. Notification, you can turn it on or off or change the settings. Sounds, change the sound levels of the doorbell audio and the ringtone volume. Working mode, you can choose from optimal battery life which it will not detect motion, only doorbell pushes. Optimal surveillance where the clip length can be up to 60 seconds. Or you can customize the recording but will also use up the battery life. Controlling original chime where you can set it to which chime you have and this is only if you connect the doorbell to your existing doorbell wires. We have the firmware update and device info. Now going back to the main app page, you click the Z bell icon to snooze alerts from 15 minutes to 12 hours. And choose the motion alerts only or home base snooze to also stop the recordings. Then we have the event icon while you will see and download motion activated events. Clicking on the camera snapshot itself will get you to live view. On the bottom, we have the video icon to record the current view which will be saved to your phone's album. Scissors icon to take a snapshot and will also be saved to your phone's album. Push the mic to start two-way audio. It is full duplex audio. The arrow to get the pre-recorded messages. And the speaker icon to mute the audio. Now because this video doorbell is connected to the home base, you need to set the mode of the home base to away or to whatever mode you set for the doorbell to record motion events. So click the security icon and choosing your home base, you can choose which mode your cameras connected to the home base are going to be. You can select record video, send a push notification, or set off the alarm. Home base alarm in the case of this doorbell, the doorbell itself doesn't have a siren or alarm. So I have to set this to away mode. Now let's check out the video and audio quality. So this is the video and audio quality of the Eufy battery powered video doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. 
And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Yuffie battery powered video doorbell and this with the infrared LEDs on and all my lights are off. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Eufy Barry video doorbell. And this with the infrared LED off and all my lights are on. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Yuffie battery video doorbell. And I set the notification to the highest efficiency, which will give us the uh, uh, fastest notification. So I'm on my LTE connection and we are going to check it out. There you go got the notification and it will get us the preview right here and now we are going to test uh, how fast from the doorbell push to notification on my phone there you go I got the notification and that's it and that's it so it's now just went to 1214. So let's see what the uh, cool off period of the UV video doorbell has. There you go. So I guess it's less than a minute. So I got notification. Okay. How can I help you? Can you hear me? How can I help you? Um, yes. Uh, I just wanted to know if Life Hacker was here. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Um, yeah, yes. uh, I just wanted to know if Lifehacker was here. Uh, sorry, he's not here right yes, now. Yes, sir. Uh, you want to leave a message? Can you hear me? Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Uh, you want to leave a message? Can you hear me? Yes, uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me right now? Um, I, I just can want yeah. You want to leave a message for Life Hackster? Oh, it's delayed. Yes. Um, I just wanted yeah, to know. Uh, can you hear me? Oh, it's delayed. Can you hear me right now? Yes. I can. Yeah. You want to leave a message for Life Hackster? Um, just wanted him to know that this door is uh delayed in the sound. Uh, seems like it. Okay. All right. Thank you, bud. I'll let him know. You will notice, and even my son noticed the long pauses between our conversation. There is a delay, which a lot of cameras do, but this one is significant enough that you will think the other party didn't hear what you said. And both of you will be saying, can you hear me? More than once. So this feature needs some attention and improvement by Yuffie. So I'm going to tell you an issue with this doorbell. And if I push the doorbell button, so right now it should be recording me. But if I push the doorbell, and I got the ringing of the doorbell here, and when I try to answer this, and when I click the two-way audio,
See, when you try to answer the doorbell, then the recording turns off or cuts off and there's a, not, no recording anymore. It says this needs to be updated and fixed by Eufy. Well, same thing happened like with the wired video doorbell when I initially reviewed it. Whenever you activate the two-way audio, the recording stops. So I have no recording to show you between the conversation between my son and I. Yuffie did fix this issue on their wired video doorbell, partially, because now it records but only records the camera side of the conversation. I know a lot of people that have their ring doorbell complaints about the crappy two-way audio on their cameras. But all their cameras, including their video doorbells, always have recorded the two sides of the conversation, which is better than not recording it at all. This is an important feature, especially for a video doorbell because this is the camera that you will mostly use the two-way audio for security and legal purposes that might happen. Anyways, I know Yuffie will fix this because they did update their wired one and hopefully they will be working in getting these video doorbells to also record both sides of the conversation. As to video and audio quality, the audio has been good with the Eufy. But with the video, especially with their latest battery-powered cameras like the Eufy Cam 2C and even on their Eufy Cam 2 and the same with this doorbell, the compression artifacts are pretty noticeable. And you will notice it more when the subject is close to the camera. It is not as smooth as other cameras or even when compared to their powered ones. I'll test this out more when I compare this to their wired doorbell. Motion notification is pretty accurate and I don't really see instances of late recording which a lot of battery powered security cameras have. Most of the motion activated events started in just the perfect time. But this is with the motion sensitivity set to the highest level and the zone is set pretty aggressively on the camera's view. I just toggled the human detection only and I haven't had any false notifications yet. As to room for improvement will be the two-way audio recording, but mainly for the camera to continue recording even after the doorbell is pushed. Well, that's it. And if you have any questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell icon so that you will get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.